So at the end of last year, Heimbach and I made the Roto Pops EP. It was somewhat by accident actually, we were just having a jam. And after a day or two, that started turning into a Krautrock style live recorded EP. It was called Roto Pops because it was based around this spinning speaker that I got hold of, which now just happens to be on the museum's ceiling. Well, since that couple of days culminated in making an EP, we thought, let's have another go at it. So this time I popped over to Heimbach's and we put similar limits on ourselves about playing live with a limited set of instruments onto tape. When I got there, Stefan was quick to show me his basement of doom and everything that was inside of it. So we're not hearing anything at all? Ah, uh, because of course. The tape machine here is set to play. So the pulser controls everything here and I don't use its sound, I use it as a sequencer because the sequencer is super fun. So I got, that's now this, I think. It's very high. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. And of course all these things run through various filters. We got a big oscillator here we can plug in. Yeah, and last time we used uh, the uh, drum machine that you had, an Alcat. Yeah. And this is the granddaddy of this one. That's, it, it looks like an organ thing, it's huge. Awesome. But What year was the drummer one? I what think that's that? 1971, I have to check it again, so we can put on the correct date down here. But uh, it's really, this one is fantastic. And then Echolette. Yes. So, uh, that's, uh, rebrand, so uh, like Alka, like uh, re uh, did that for uh, Ecolette. So the rebadge. Many of the many of the things that were sold in Germany under German brands were actually Italian, just rebranded. And you can. That's why these were used by all the crowd rock artists because you could fade in the instruments, same as the one that you have. That made them unique. Just in a bigger box. <laughs> Just in a bigger box, yeah. Okay, we're clipping like mad here on the digital side. So He's got all the toys. Yeah, <laughs> space echo through filter. That's very classic dub. Yeah, yeah. And one of the fun things is like we're very classic here because space echo filter and then this tape machine. That's a similar model to the one that Lee Scratch Perry used. Mm -hmm. And he even put this one in an installation that he did in 2019 in Switzerland. He, he basically immortalized this type of tape machine. You can watch the full and edited version of that video, it's about 20 minutes long over on our Patreons amongst loads of other long form videos about this project and a bunch of others. Anyway, time to talk about the machine that's actually in the thumbnail. Anyway, I've got something that might give us a little bit of inspiration maybe, I don't know, for a song, for maybe the first song. Okay. I'm going to go and grab it. I'll go and okay. Grab it. I'm not sure what you think about it, <laughs> but it might work. you got a new thing. It's a new thing. It's not even old. I don't know whether it's any good or not. Okay. But, um, maybe we could go and do some really directional train things for the song Observe background. Observe birds and mammals at eight, hear sounds over 300 digitally good playback sounds or trans Fur them to your tape recorder? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever that? seen it? It's well no. funny. I don't know whether it's good. So if you ever... And why is he look? He's looking through it. It's weird, isn't it? Look at that box. Look at that dude. He looks That's well happy. Super cool. Oh, no, we can no. go record an actual train Maybe with this. Oh, should we just get... Let's get out. All right. Because get it. I put them in open. It's got everything in it. Oh, what's inside? <laughs> oh, broken. Oh, no. Wait a sec. Really? Yeah. That's okay, okay. That's okay, we can, we glue, can glue it. it. It does digital recording. Oh, I wonder if it came with headphones as well. It does come with a pair of headphones. Oh, I bet they're nasty. Look at that. Oh what my god. What the heck is that? Okay, so. well this looks dangerous. <laughs> and you look, oh it has magnification. But does it? Yeah, I can, I, oh wow, a lot of magnification. It's hard to like track you, where are you, where are you? This you could have the don't, this is like in any TV series for like aliens. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah, looks yeah. like a halo gun. Can you hear anything? Oh, so now I'm recording. Yeah. Oh, the recording adds a lot of noise. Okay. Okay, so play. No way. What? The recording, like, it's super lo-fi. Oh, is it? Yeah, we need to, how can we show this to the to everyone?
that sounds awesome. It's yeah. Like really soft and nice. It's really soft, like it's so low pass filter, but all the aliasing. Yeah, yeah. Using the gun from Halo to record and see some. Oh, you need to film through this. The only thing it's hard, really hard to like, but you can. You look, it looks funny. Yeah, this has to be. Such a, ah, there you are. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> I got you. It's quite directional. record and get that sound. Go and take this outside and see if we can find anything further away. Yeah, let's no, the engine. Whoa! That's the engine. Some Can you lower the volume again? Well, it's a pretty, it works a lot better outside. I, I thought it was going to be crap. This was only 20 quid and it's broke like... Play back there recording. That huh? was a train. Right, so... Can you see anything? Yeah, no. You, you won't have this. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Right, I've recorded it. I've recorded it. Let's press play. Very short recording time on this. I think it's about 20 seconds, not more. Maybe 18. You can have more fun. Step two. Don't you know I'm two? Step five. Da, 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 da. Unfortunately, it didn't go completely to plan and we didn't end up finding a use for the parabolic microphone in the videos. But it gave Stefan a bit of inspiration for the first song that we recorded. Bewegung im Spiegel. Bewegung. Movement in the mirror. Oh, oh. Bewegung. Bewegung im Spiegel. Down. So we need to get this all on, get it turned on and... Um, Mirror in the mirror. Mirror in the mirror. That's what's called. Alright. So now we figure out where we're playing. Bewegung. Bewegung. Yeah. Spiegel. Bewegung. That works. Bewegung. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Maybe the bass stays the same, but yeah. you're like, boo boo. That's a bit like, you know, boo 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 boo. So, Yeah. 
I think we could get something from that. Yeah, that was quite a good take. Bit of fiddling. We had a bit of overdubs on sound, I reckon. Definitely needs a solo. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> that's raw. Yeah, that's good. Sounds so good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you get a space echo. For just that thing. Yeah. Bewegung im Spiegel, im Takt der Stadt. Hör deinen Schritt, bloß kein Fehltritt. Moment in the mirror. Oh, movement in the mirror. So that is the first song of the Pipe Dreams EP. Heimbach is doing a video on the next two songs right now, uh, which is about messing around with the tape speeds because we actually recorded some of the parts when the tape was playing quicker and other parts where the tape was playing lower, which made some interesting kind of effects for track two and three on the EP. Shall we drop it? Dong. So what we do The five track EP as well as the Roto Pops EP is linked below so if you want to get hold of it it is now out on Bandcamp. It's currently at Pay What You Want so download it to help us get into the charts on the Bandcamp and all that stuff. But anyway hop over to Heimbach's video and I'll see you over there. 